problem solving. So we're getting six bottles of shampoo. It's buy one, get one. Buy two, get one free. And it's $5.50 each. So to get three bottles, we will be paying $5.50 times two. Since it is buy two, get one free. We're only paying for the price of two. So that will be $11. So for six bottles, that will be 11 times two, which is $22. That's for question one. Now for question two. For question two, we want to spend the least amount of money for three gallons of milk. So if we're getting two half gallon, we will be paying 185 times two, and that is equals to two dollars plus 170, which is 3. 70. So for to get what for one gallon for one gallon we can either get two half gallon bottle which would cost 370 or we can buy a one gallon bottle which would cost 379. Since getting two half gallon is cheaper, we should definitely be buying the half gallon bottles for three gallons. To get three gallons of milk, we should be getting six half gallon of milk. One, problem solving. This is not an easy question. It can be very tricky for some students. So first, we're going to put the sister down. The sister has $75.10. Next, we're going to put down how much Harry has. We don't know how much he has, but we know that after giving $28 to the mom, he has $15.20 less than the sister. So this is how much Harry has. And after giving $28 to the mom, he has less. So this is how much Harry has after giving $28 to the mom. So this is $28. So after giving $28 to the mom, he has less than his sister. And how much less? Let's use a different color. He has this much less. And this much is $15.20. So our, our job here is to find out how much he has at first. So how much do he have at first? Let's use a different color. So what is this amount that was more than a sister? To find out what is this amount, we will use 28 minus 15.20 cents. And we can do the math over here. So $28, we're gonna subtract 15. So we're going to decompose. So we have $12.80. So this over here would be $12.80. So how much did Harry have at first? Harry would have $75.10 plus $12.80 at first. And we can do the math here. And that will be 87 and 90 cents. Next for question two, we have dimes and we have quarters. So she has the same amount of dimes and quarters, but together, it has to be more than 5, but less than 12. So we can maybe choose 6. So maybe we can have um, 3 dimes and 3 quarters. So 3 dimes and 3 quarters. So together, she will have 6 coins. So what is how much is 3 dimes and 3 quarters? That will be 30 cents plus 75 cents. And that will be a dollar and 5 cents.